subscribe and turn on the notifications to get more freshly brewed content from us. Welcome everybody, this is Psych3 here with another video of CIE ASA level Biology Unit 1. And a slight remember, we will be discussing the new syllabus from 2022 to 2021. So all, let's not wait and get into the video. The first unit we'll be seeing is cell structure. And the partitions in this unit are microscope and cell studies and cells as the basic unit of living organism. Microscope is a very old and a very common lab apparatus. Every lab must have one. It is very useful for making highly detailed observations of small specimens that are not visible through naked eyes. In simple words, it is used to zoom some small things. And these are of two types, light microscope and electron microscope. We'll be dealing with that later in this video. We know that cells are very small in size, so microscopes play a very important role in cell discovery. Cells are viewed using a microscope. There are certain procedures to view a cellular material in a light microscope. Take a very thin layer of the sample. The reason why the layer should be thin is light should be able to pass through the tissue so that the magnified image can be seen. Trim the layer to be in a size of 10 millimeter into 10 millimeter and place it in a temporary slide. Add any stain to make the cell visible under the microscope and cover the tissue with a cover slide. This step should be done very carefully without causing any damage to the specimen. Place it in a microscope and your slide is ready to view. We could have come across magnification questions in our ATP paper in IGCSE Biology. And this is not new for us. Here are some conditions to follow while drawing a, drawing a magnified image. Again, I'm saying this is not new for us, but let's have it as a recap. Use a sharp pencil and not a blunt one. This makes your drawing crisp and high detailed. Maintain the continuity in your stroke. Do not break lines or make it feathery. Do not shade as it is not accepted. Sometimes we can be asked to draw a particular part of, the, of an image. So read the question twice and draw the required partition only. Label the image with a ruler using a pencil. Make your drawing as bigger that it occupies all the given space for the question. This is a very familiar topic indeed. Calculating magnification. Magnification, I'll first define it. Magnification is the ratio between drawn image and actual image. Magnification is the calculation of how larger an image is made. It is better for you to all to take a screenshot of the equation triangle. I'm about to explain it. I Magnification is equal to I by A, where I represents the drawn image and A represents the actual image. This forms the magnification triangle, I on the top and A and M below. Let's see an example for the magnification. Let me read the question. A mitochondrion has a length of 12 micrometers. It is drawn 8.4 centimeter long. What is the magnification? As we discussed earlier, magnification is the drawn image, drawn image length by the actual image length. Here, the drawn image length is given in 8.4 centimeters and the actual image length is given in micrometers. We should note the units properly. The units are different in this case. So we should make it as the same unit. And that's why I've given a table in the right side of uh, the units of millimeter, micrometer, and nanometer and the power of 10 in each. This powers of 10 will make it easier for you to convert, convert the units. For questions like this, you have to know the meter, sorry, the table by heart. And coming to the question back, 8.4 centimeter is converted to 84,000 micrometer. 84,000 divided by 12 is equal to 7,000. 
and while writing a magnification the multiplication symbol should be after the after the number or before the number because this uh, this is how you write magnifications this is the proper way of writing magnification you will not be award and mark if this multiplication symbol is not there here here we have the difference between electron microscope and light light microscope as i said earlier there are two types of microscope and these are those electron microscope and light microscope electron microscope uses electron beams to magnify specimens where light microscope uses light to magnify specimens electron microscope produces a very high detailed image light microscope produces a low detailed image electron microscope have high resolution and high magnification light microscope have low magnification and low resolution in electron microscope the specimen cannot be stained in light microscope the specimen can be stained these are the differences between electron microscope and light microscope please do note this down this will be useful for you magnification and resolution magnification is equal to drawn image by actual image that can be in the place of definition but then in words we can write it as measure of how much larger the image is or the ratio between the uh, length of drawn image and length of actual image and resolution resolution is the ability to distinguish between two objects that are close together as separate objects uh this term is a little bit difficult to understand so let me explain it clearly uh we can take ribosome as an example ribosome has two like they are partitioned into two small dots but in a low resolution microscope you will be able to see the ribosome as a single dot but in a high resolution microscope you will be able to differentiate between the first dot and the second dot that's what is known as resolution electron microscope has more resolution and more magnification than light microscope heading off to the second partition of the unit cells is the basic unit of living organisms we have always known that cells are the basic unit of life and metabolic reactions like respirations takes place in the cell like we have organs like brain and lungs in our body cells are cell organelles floating in the cytoplasm and to classify cells into further two types eukaryotic and prokaryotic eukaryotic cells have fully developed nuclei and prokaryotic cells have undeveloped nuclei these are the organelles found in a typical eukaryotic cell do observe the image and just take a glimpse at the list of organelles the first organelle cell surface membrane is a very thin layer in case of plant cells there are two layers a cell wall followed by an inner cell membrane but in animal cells there is only a cell membrane the function of cell membrane is to act as a barrier and control what enters and leaves the cell cell membrane is a partially perm permeable membrane and it helps in diffusion osmosis this is usually called the brain of the cell because this is one of a vital organelle this is surrounded by a layer called nuclear envelope in the image it is given as nuclear membrane which has a small gap like things called nuclear pores the nucleus gets its dark color by the nucleolus in the nucleus the nucleus carries genetic information in it for more detail look at the image and observe my tip is to observe all the images given in the presentation because it you may be asked for it in your exams to label it label the parts so it's important to know the images endoplasmic reticulum is of two types rough endoplasmic reticulum and smooth endoplasmic reticulum as the name suggests 
rough endoplasmic reticulum has a rough surface because of the ribosomes on its surface. RER process proteins that are given out by ribosomes. We all know ribosomes are protein factories and RER process the proteins that are given out by the ribosomes. SER have a smooth surface. They synthesize the carbohydrates, lipids and make steroid hormones. Even the hormones like testosterone and estrogen are produced by SER. Golgi body can also be known as Golgi apparatus and Golgi complex. They look like a folded structure. Their function is to modify proteins by adding a carbohydrate group to it. And an important note, the image, the image of the Golgi body is given both in 2D form and in 3D form. Usually, you will be asked like given in the 3D form. Mitochondria. This is a powerhouse of the cell. This is where the aerobic respiration takes place. Looking into their structure, they have a folded inner membrane surrounded by an outer membrane. The bends in the inner membrane is called cristae and the inner area, the blue color one, is called matrix. And mitochondrion even have a small circular DNA in it. Ribosomes are the protein factory of cell. They produce proteins. Ribosomes are of two types, 80S and 70S. 80S are found in eukaryotic cells and 70S are found in prokaryotic cells, My mitochondria and chloroplasts. Lysosomes are little sacs filled with hydrolytic or digestive enzymes. These are helpful in digestion of nutrients taken into the cell it helps in digesting bacteria taken into the cell by phagocytosis. Moreover, it breaks down the unwanted components in cell. Centrioles are the organelles which are found only in animal cells. They are made of perpendicularly arranged microtubule triplets like given in the picture. Observe the image given. These microtubules are involved in the process of cell division. Cilia. These are small hair-like structures. These are also present in ciliated epithelial cells in trachea. In trachea, the ciliated epithelial cells, uh, between they have goblet cells. The goblet cells produce mucus. And the mucus traps all the dust and pathogens from the air pathway. So when it traps all the dust and pathogens, it becomes dirty or it should be removed, removed from the trachea. So the cilia sweeps the mucus out of the pathway. These are also small projections, but they are from the cell membrane. Of, instead of helping in movement, microvilli are involved in absorption of material. It increases the surface area for greater absorption. These are present in small intestine to absorb simple nutrients into blood. These chloroplasts are found only in green parts of the cell. In fact, the green color itself comes from the chloroplasts. They can be seen in a light microscope. These organelles have a pigment called chlorophyll and they trap sunlight for photosynthesis. A small flush into the past. Photosynthesis is the process by which plants make their own food. Observe the image of chloroplast. This is a frequent question in exams like the mitochondrion even chloroplasts have a small circular DNA. Cell wall is an outer boundary of the cell. It is present only in plant cells. This provides structure and shape of the cell and also coordinates in withstanding turgor pressure when the cell is filled with a lot of water during osmosis. There is small fiber-like structures between cell membranes to keep them connected. And these fibers are called plasmodesmata. The large permanent vacuole is present only in plant cells. They are surrounded by a layer called tonoplast and contain cell sap inside it. This so stores nutrients for plant. Let's look at the structure of an animal cell in a closer view. Observe all the structures and 
and the point that animal cells are irregular in shape. Here comes the plant cell. We have cell walls, large permanent vacuole and a point to notify that it has a regular structure. These are the differences between plant and animal cells. Plant cells have chloroplast, animal cells lack chloroplast because plants Plants are autotrophic and they need to make their own food. For photosynthesis, they need to have chloroplasts. But animals are heterotrophic. They depend on other organisms for nutrients. So we do not have chloroplasts. Plant cells have large permanent vacuole and cell walls, but animal cell doesn't. Animal cells have centriole and microvilli, but plant cell doesn't. We all would know respiration is the process by which energy is released. But few would know that the form of energy released is in ATP. This abbreviates to adenosine triphosphate. The ATP is used in energy requiring processes like active transport. Prokaryotic cells have undeveloped nuclei. Unicellular organisms like bacteria have prokaryotic cell. They are usually small in size from 1 to 5 micrometers. Different from plant cells, they have cell walls made up of a material called peptidoglycan. They do not have nucleus, so the DNA is in a circular form from the, from the, from in the cytoplasm. Unlike eukaryotic cells, these prokaryotes have 70S ribosomes. Even organelles are not surrounded by a double membrane. We have shortlisted the differences between both eukaryotic cell and prokaryotic cell. Look into the table to get a clear view. You might even take a screenshot for reference. Stay buckled up. This is the last topic of this video. This is a very small organism and can make a very big impact. Even the situation we are now facing is also caused by a virus. This is not even smaller than a cell also not considered to be a living organism. Their structure is very simple. A capsid layer made of protein or sometimes a phospholipid layer is their outer coat. And they have a nuclear acid, either DNA or RNA. Viruses, have, viruses are parasites. They use a living organism as a host to live. A small note, these viruses cannot be killed by taking antibodies we can prevent ourselves from viruses by taking only vaccine so do take your shots complete the dosage and let us bring our life back to normal back to the content we have successfully completed the first unit from biology so keep in touch by subscribing and sharing and sharing our videos to others meet you all in the next video